massive red flag for me. So. <laughs> Plastic surgery is a massive red flag for you. Yeah, it is. I don't blame you. Because oh I want to have God. kids one day and I want to know what they're going to look like. And if your face is full of concrete and jelly, like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what they're going to look what? like. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. <laughs> you you understand my... Any cosmetic anything is not going to affect my fucking jeans, right? Yeah, no shit, honey! Yeah, I understand that. Because your jeans didn't create what I see because you're wearing a mask. <laughs> I don't know I'm what's not funny. Wearing I'm being a mask. serious. It's literally... It's a... It's a tiny bit of Botox. Do you not understand? Like, yeah, it's, a lip, think... it's called a lip flip. Nah, bitch, I'm cool. It's not. Why? What's wrong with the lips that were already there? I it's don't. It's none of your business. What was wrong with them okay, before? Like, well, I well, wanted to get it, so like, listen, that's all that listen, matters. You're a gorgeous specimen, <laughs> and you're uh, quite cute. Thanks. And I would love to continue to date, but I'm gonna need to know on a scale of one to ten oh. how plastic you are. It's in my opinion. We've got a lot to worry about here. It's getting. It's. I'm scared. What? What? Yeah. How can you give me just a number? I'm not even. I can't even. I'm not asking cover. for details. Just a number. Box out of ten. I'm not answering that fucking insane question. That you're no. Hey guy. Hey guy. Fella. Bro's got the right idea here. I mean, these days women have far too many outlets they can go to that just praise everything they do. Good or bad, every choice they make is empowering. From the fucking ridiculous plastic surgeries to the OF accounts, all they do is try and normalize their terrible choices, shove it down your throat, and try and force men to accept it. And you can't make them change because all the media out there, all it ever says is, you know, women can do no wrong and men are the bad guys. But what you can do is just stop putting them on a pedestal. Stop reinforcing this shit behavior by giving it attention. Don't be afraid to call them out and give them a good fucking dose of reality when they need it. Because if more men start having the balls to do this type of thing, well, maybe eventually it'll start sinking in. Oh my God, you're so cute. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's... Nailed it. So like, do you, if I show her that, do you think that I'll get some Yes or or no or yes. Yeah. Hell yes. Gryffindor. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Gryffindor had me fucking dead. But we also got a top-notch comment here. VLC player installed successfully. <laughs> oh my work. Fuck. <laughs> oh, on my way. Fuck your bitch. What's your craziest experience with your ex? I ran over his mom what? and got seven years in prison. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that. Like, you didn't just say what you just said. Because she was standing behind my car. What's your body count? About 80. Yeah. Trying to make it 81? Sure. So I can get your number? Yeah. That motherfucker don't miss. Ooh, I'm itchy. Itchy, why am I so itchy? First of all, whoever edited this clip with Snoop Dogg saying that motherfucker don't miss, like how the fuck are you gonna miss? Her body count is 80. That's not an accomplishment. Second of all, you're gonna find out that she drove over her, her ex's mom and that her body count is 80 and then you're gonna ask for her fucking number? Like, this is a major part of the problem with women these days. Men just need to stop reinforcing this type of shit behavior by giving it attention. For those of you who didn't know what the fuck that was, that was Fire Marshal Bill. It's one of Jim Carrey's characters from In Living Color. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's pretty fucking hilarious. And also, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. I do appreciate you. Let's get right back into it. So, so <laughs> you ever you ever had a girl who's like, keep going, keep going, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. And then you like- it. I'm soft. <laughs> Keep what? I'm already in the car. I'm already in the car. I'm already in the car. I just called Uber. Keep going. What? Almost, almost. Listen, I can keep going, but you ain't going to go. You just getting sack at this point. <laughs> and all my holes right now. <laughs> you get right here. <laughs>
I'm just doing cardio right now. It's facts! It's facts! It's in our facts. These facts are in our facts. Does it look like I care? Whatever it takes, all right? Whatever it takes. Do you consider yourself romantic? Yes. To a fault. Really? Yeah, because women pretend they like that bullshit and they don't. They like it until you do it and then it gives them the ick. This is bullshit! No! That's so true. Go around treating her good, kissing on her and literally holding her hand everywhere and then telling her that she's the best and encouraging her and supporting her and doing things for her that she didn't even anticipate she needs and then paying for everything and then leaving rose petals and being like, you know, today's the first day we met. What is all of that gets you just like, what a fucking loser. <laughs> like oh, that's, man. that's what they do. They go, this fucking guy's obsessed with me. It is true. Yeah, women don't like it. They say they like it. My grandma liked it, but there's nobody like my grandma anymore. Which means we're all fucked. Yeah, sure, they're going to tell you they want all that nice shit. And that's what they're looking for because it makes them seem like the good guys. Like they're the romantic ones and, and men are the problem. They're not going to tell you they want someone to treat them like shit because that might make it seem like them and their choices are the problem. And that, my friends, as we all know, is blasphemy. Worst moments in man history. 1920. Men give women the right to vote. Shit. And all they accomplished was OF. <laughs> oh, how they've come so far. Look, obviously joking, not joking, but... Look, I'm sure that the, the founding members of women's rights would be real proud of, of modern women and all the choices they're making. Hey! Alex! What? What the fuck? What? It's so dirty in here. The what do you mean? The dishes are overflowing, your half-eaten cereal's there, you're a fucking trailblazer, leaving shit all over the ground, I've been working all day, mm -hmm. I'm so exhausted. Okay. The shit's chess, it ain't checkers. Just like that, it tripled in value. Best investment of 2024, and we're only three months in. As women, we are selfish, we are self-centered, and we are manipulative. Based. And here's the thing, we want our husband to have boundaries. We want them to follow the boundaries. But as soon as it's it, we're asked to be held accountable to those boundaries. That's blasphemy. We want to do what we want. <laughs> We don't, we hold the double standard. You need to follow this boundary, but I don't have to. Bingo, Yahtzee. And what I've learned about myself as a woman and working with other women, we are not good at keeping our word and following through with our word. We lack integrity and we lack character with ourselves. We trace the call, it's coming from inside the house. Think about it for the women watching and who are open to hearing my message. Think about how poorly we keep our word to ourselves when we say we are gonna do something, when we say we're gonna change something in our lives or we're gonna do something differently. We don't keep our word to ourselves. We're the first person to break our own promises to. So how are we supposed to follow through with our husbands or a partner to keep our word to them? That's what turns me on about you. Your attention to detail. For those of you who don't know, that's Karen Seitz. She's like a marriage therapist who is literally always speaking facts. I mean, she is single-handedly putting respect back on that name, Karen. You know, she's one of the few women out there who actually see reality for the way it is, right? And let's be honest, you know, selfish, self-centered, manipulative, don't forget hypocritical. I mean, these are characteristic traits of modern women these days. And when a person is selfish and self-centered and they manipulate situations to suit their own needs and they don't give a shit whether they're hypocritical or not, how can you ever expect someone like that to take responsibility or hold themselves accountable for anything, let alone bring you any kind of peace? And when faced with the idea of maybe spending more time with a person with this kind of lack of character, it's really easy to see why so many men out there are just saying like, why the fuck would I bother? Now listen, that's called motherfucking bars, nigga. Between men and women, who do you think is closer to unconditional love? When it really boils down to it, men are the more romantic ones. Like for most of my friends, they're looking for one girl and that's it. And while for a lot of my girlfriends, it's like they're choosing their favorite kind of coffee. Because they have a lot more options. They want to sift through the options and find like what's best. I'm good. Thank you. I mean, it's pretty obvious who's closer to unconditional love, right? 
Like not all men are created equal, but most men can see that cashier at the grocery store and be happy. You know, if he thinks that the relationship is going to work, he's going to put himself into it 100%, not care who she is or how much she makes. That's pretty close to unconditional. Whereas women, in general, not all, in general, are hypergamous. They are, they're always looking for the next best thing. They need someone on their level or better. And if you fall even a little bit short, a lot of times they can pretty easily move on and not think twice about it because they got all kinds of options, right? Not to mention that divorce for women is incentivized. Not to mention that they have normalized all kinds of non-sexual cheating that makes it socially acceptable for women to pursue other interests, to keep their hooks in other men and, and keep their options open while they're still in a committed relationship. But look, like I said before, we have a part to play in all this. We need to stop reinforcing bad behavior by giving attention to the wrong types of women. Like, if you're with a woman who can't seem to just be with you while she's with you, then fucking move on, period, end. Even if you're the type who really finds it difficult to find women. Because I can guarantee you one thing, that you will be a hell of a lot happier alone than with the wrong woman. And look, if it all comes to that, just remember we're men. They call us simple creatures, not because we're simple-minded, but because whether we're alone or not, we can always find happiness in the simplest things. Last sec. Make sure you got time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here it is. Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Awesome! Yes! <laughs> I'm not dealing with nothing and nobody that'll cost me my peace. My peace is number one priority. And I'm going to protect my peace at all costs.